Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to UniqueParts.com. Hi, I'm Don with UniqueParts.com and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to be able to change the seal, the flange seal in the transmission. Now according to the Bentley book, if you examine that, they're showing how to be able to do that. Uh, and the way they do it is with a transmission setting up here on the bench. Now that's, to do that, you have to be able to pull the motor out, then pull the transmission out and put the seal in. But now what I'm going to show you with the method I'm using here is how to change that seal inside the car. It's going to save you hours and hours of work and labor. I'm going to go over the tools that you need to get started. And before you get started, you should line up these tools so that you can get the job done as quickly as you can. Now the first tool I'm using is a 3 8 ratchet with a short extension and an 8 millimeter spline socket. Now this is going to be used to go ahead and take out the axle bolts. Once those are removed, then you can take the axle out. Now we have a, a screwdriver that's also just a straight head screwdriver, not a Phillips. That's going to be used to pry out the seal. There's a, there's a couple of seals that you'll be able to use a screwdriver on. The other tool I'm using is a snap ring pliers. Now this snap ring, there's a, that hold, it actually holds a flange cover onto the spline shaft. That snap ring has to be removed because what we're going to do is be removing the spline cover. I have another screwdriver, another small one, and also a pick. And then the other tool I'm using is going to be a seal remover. This will take it out of the cover. And we're doing this inside the car. And once that seal is removed, now we're going to be installing the seal. And I have a seal installer here. It's already preset for the right depth for the seal. The seal needs only to go in 375 thousandths from the outside of the cover. It does not need to go all the way in. Uh, if you don't have a tool, just remember you don't have to take the seal all the way down. If you do, it may not seal on the sealing surface. So, what I have is, I'll show you what the tool looks like. I have a stud shaft here. It screws into the spline. And now I have this tool installer slides over, like so with a couple of washers and this nut to draw the seal in. Now this is designed to bring it right into the proper location and depth. All right, now once that seal is installed, you just leave the stud shaft in place because now you're going to need this tool here. This tool is going to set on top of the flange and this stud shaft will also be used to be able to hold that flange in place and draw that spline shaft out so you can reinstall the snap ring. Okay, that's all the tools that you need so I can show you how those tools work. Now I've shown you the tools that we need to go ahead and change the seal and remove the flange cover. Now I'm going to show you what that is actually going to look like. Once the axle has been removed, this is what the flange cover looks like. There is a seal inside here that has to be removed. And what we do is I'm using a screwdriver here to pry this seal out, like so. And there's a snap ring here. This is what we have to remove from the spline shaft so that we can ultimately pull this cover off. Now this is what we're trying to replace is this seal. It's gone defective. So once we've removed the spline, the, the flange cover, now we can remove the seal. And I have this tool here that I use that I use to pull, go inside here and pry out that seal. So once that's done, we wipe out the inside of the case and then we reinstall the seal with the seal installer. Now this is the tools I'm using so what we're going to do now is go underneath the car and I can show you how we accomplish this from under the car. The first move is to go ahead and remove the axle and so I've loosened up these bolts already with the, the tools that we need. I just have to unscrew these two and remove the axle so that we can see the flange and we're changing that flange seal just loosen these up now you have to be careful too when you take this axle out because the axle has balls inside of here so if we move this around uh, it's at a wrong position the balls could come out and then we have it's really hard to put that back together so just make sure that we have everything set right like this and just lay the axle down all the way. We're under the car and we're ready to uh, remove the uh, axle flange. Now you notice I've already removed the axle assembly so now we have to take the flange off. 
I've jacked the car up. You see we're pretty well secure, so we're ready to go. Um, I take the screwdriver and I remove that seal, the outer seal, like so. It comes out fairly easy. And this is a seal that we remove. Now we have to remove the snap ring. Now, you see the spline shaft and there's a snap ring. Now, turn the axle flange so that the opening of the snap ring is facing toward the front of the car. Yeah. So I take the snap ring pliers and remove that snap ring like so. The snap ring's removed. Then pull the flange off. And there's the axle flange cover. Now, now this is a seal that we want to replace. So we take the seal remover like so, and place it in, like, inside the seal, and pry it out. See how easy that seal came out? Now, we want to reinstall the new seal. And here's the new seal. I put some oil on the outside of the seal, so it's ready to place into position. So, just press it in, so far, like, like that. Now we have to draw the seal deeper into the case. So we have a special tool to do that. We put this bolt screwed into the spline shaft. And we use this seal installer, which is already calibrated to only go down 375 thousandths. And that's all the farther we want to go with that seal. So we place this tool over the top. And that is the, the diameter of the seal. Put the washers on top, and then we can just tighten it up, and that will push the steel in with proper tension on both all the way around, so that the seal is going to go in even. All right. Just take our wrench, and we uh, start drawing the seal up. We just remove that and the seal's been installed. All right, we're ready to go and put the axle flange back on and it goes in this direction toward the transmission. This is going to be the outside, so we want to push it in this way here. And where we want the seal to ride is on this surface here. Now we've taken some steel wool and just dressed this up so you see how polished this is. So that seal surface should be right in this location. So we're ready to install the flange. We're back, ready to go back together with this. So I put a little oil onto the flange here, just wipe it around, and now we can put the flange back on, slides right into place. Now we need to put that snap ring back in here. Now to be able to do that, we have to use another tool to pull the spline shaft out. There's another ring inside that is a compression ring, or a spring ring, and that is applying pressure against this. So now we have to install this special tool to put that snap ring in place. So we'll use that same bolt. So we take this tool, place it over the top here. Now this tool here is what's used to go ahead and pull out the gear out of the front of the engine, the pump gear. So we're just using this tool here. We take a 14 millimeter wrench like this and we tighten it down. And now we're drawing that spline shaft out far enough. One thing that we should do too is when you before you install anything or work into the car, you see the starter here is real close. 
So we have the starter cable. We have to be careful working in this area here so that we don't accidentally touch the starter cable. Okay, now we're ready to, to go ahead and install that snap ring. I'm using the snap ring pliers. A little hard to uh, get in here. Okay. All right. Now we're in position. Okay. Now let's take this off. Putting this together, you want to have this outer seal, the inner seal, and then also a new snap ring because the old snap rings lose their tension over the years. So you go back on with a new snap ring. Now this is that outer seal we popped off in the beginning. We want to press this back into place. And that will pretty much go in by itself. Just squeezes in there nice and tight. And again, that what it does, it helps to keep the oil inside the transmission. Otherwise, oil is going to leak out through those splines down through here into your axle assembly and cause that grease to go ahead and lose its lubricating capabilities. And those the balls could wear out inside the axles. Okay, we're ready to go. Now all we have to do now is just install this axle and we're back on the road.